ladies and gentlemen, what we just witnessed was one of the most uncommon occurrences that can ever happen in all of sports. In the men's 60 meter dash in the 2022 SEC Championships, Matthew Bowling lined up as the heavy favorite for the victory. Just yesterday, he placed first in the qualifying round, running a new personal best of 6.59 seconds, a time that was 0.04 seconds faster than any other qualifier for the final. Combined with his new solid start and amazing mid-race acceleration, his chances of winning for the final were actually quite high. However, something else happened in this race that just might leave you speechless. After a much slower start, Bowling was trailing far behind Dedrick Vanover from Florida, who in the qualifying round was the closest athlete to Matthew Bowling. At this point in the race, Vanover almost certainly had the victory, but over the closing stages of this 60 meter dash, Matthew Bowling actually caught Dedrick Vanover and finished with an amazing time of 6.64 seconds. But the story does not end here, because amazingly, these two athletes actually finished in a dead tie, not to the hundredth of a second, but to the exact one thousandth of a second, which is truly one of the most uncommon things that can happen in track and field. Upon reviewing this race a few times, I could have sworn that Vanover from Florida took the win, but somehow, against all odds, with great focus and a tremendous lean over the finish line, Bowling achieved a time of 6.633 seconds, which again, is the exact same time as Dedrick Vanover. The reason this finish is so utterly ridiculous is because even high technology cameras could not distinguish a winner here. Even with a frame rate of over 3,000 frames per second, there's still no clear victor from this 60 meter final. So unlike any other race that's likely to take place in 2022, or any other year for that matter, there were two winners in this final. Absolutely amazing. Another reason this race holds so much significance is that up to this point, Bowling has been undefeated in any racing event this season, holding a perfect record in the 60 meter dash, the 200 meters, and also the 4x400 relay. And even though Dedrick Vanover achieved an amazing time with this 60, he technically didn't beat Matthew Bowling, so I guess Matthew Bowling is still undefeated in 2022. It's pretty weird to see this finish here as they both have number one next to their name, my brain just kind of can't process this. It's just so bizarre. Even with his slower start, which can definitely be a huge problem in the 60 meter dash, Bowling still held strong and came away with a W. Well, I guess this race would be more like a TW or something. Either way, it was impressive. Congrats to both athletes for an amazing race and a co-victory in the 60 meter dash, and definitely keep your eye out for Dedrick Vanover this season. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.